An industrial freezer is designed to operate with an internal, a internal air temperature of negative 20 degrees Celsius when the external air temperature is 25 degrees Celsius and the interval and external heat transfer coefficients are 12 watt meter squared Kelvin and 8 dapat watt ito ha ah, typographical error this must be watt nakarek ba dyan sa inyo? watt meter squared Kelvin respectively the walls of the freezer are composite construction comprising of inner layer of plastic K equals to 1 watt meter Kelvin and the thickness is 3 mm and the outer layer of stainless steel K equals to 16 watt meter Kelvin and the thickness of 1.0 mm sandwiched between these two layers is a layer of insulation material with K equals to point 07 watt meter Kelvin. Find the width of the insulation that is required to reduce the convective heat loss to 15 watts meter squared. So this one is a combination. Since mayroon tayong binanggit na coefficient of heat transfer, ano ba yung coefficient of heat transfer, sir? Kanina na may binanggit tayong thermal conductivity K that is usually watt meter Kelvin. Pag may nakita kayo transfer coefficient, H value yon. Ang H value usually is for liquids and gases. Okay? Conductivity, ano yung, saan nang nangyayari yung conduction? Solids. Diba? So, thermal conductivity K normally ay para sa solid. Pagka coefficient of heat transfer, Hc normally sa mga liquids and gases. Okay? So, meron tayong H which is basically watt meter squared Kelvin. Okay. So, ngayon, composite ito. Kanina, hindi ko na introduce, no? Kung may composite wall tayo, pwede kong i-represent na ganyan. Tapos, dito sa isang side is mayroong inside, and then here we have outside. Ito, mayroong kang K value. Same as here, K value. Tapos, K value. So, ito, hindi na ka, ano, ha? naka scale okay lagay ko lang yung given so freezer to operate with the internal air of negative 20 so t here is negative 20 degrees celsius and then outside is 25 degrees celsius the internal and external heat transfer coefficient are 12 unahin natin yung 12 h yun dito sa i that is uh, watt meter squared Kelvin. Tapos HO, that is outside, is 8. Okay, watt meter squared Kelvin. Ito mga gantong klaseng typographical error, very common sa board exam, ha? So don't worry. Pagka alam mo yung unit naman na coefficient, pwede mo na i-correct yung sarili mo. Pero approach mo pa rin yung examiner. The walls of the freezer are composite construction comprising of an inner layer of plastic K equals to 1 meter square and a thickness of 3. Okay, and the outer layer is stainless steel. Okay, ito yung outer stainless steel with K value of 16 watt meter Kelvin. Ang kanyang X is 1 mm and then in between them is insulation material. Okay, ito yung insulation. That is K. Ang value niya is 0 0.07. Okay, hindi ko na sulit yung, yung unit ha. And uh, find the width of the insulation. Ito yung X unknown. Tapos plastic. This one is plastic. Ang K value niya is 1 watt. Okay, K. And then ang thickness niya is 3 mm. Tulong-tulong. H1 inside. Let's say this is 0.1. 0.2, 0.3, and then 0.4. Tama? Meron tayong insulation dito sa loob. Ito stainless steel, tapos ito ay plastic. Again, ang plastic, ang K value niya is 1 watt per meter Kelvin. Ang thickness niya, so I can say this is X1, and then insulation is unknown, X2. K2, and then dito, pwede kong tawagin K3, tapos X3. Okay. Ang heat transfer or convective heat loss is 15 watts meter per uh, meter squared. Ano yung heat again? Pagka na conduction? Okay, A, delta T, tama? Over X. Ang problem na to is uh, combination ng convection tapos conduction. 
So, itong area, wala tayong binigay. Tama? So, so pwede natin ilagay na Q over A. And then, since ano to, composite wall, tapos meron kang convective heat transfer, you can say that, kanina no, delta T, tama? In total, from this point to this point, and then, 1 over H1, ang relationship, plus X1 over K1, plus X2 over K2, plus X3 over K3. And then finally, we have 1 over HO. Ano yan, sir? This is a change in temperature from inside, uh, from uh, outside to inside. And then this one is the coefficient of heat transfer. Pwede uh, air rin sa loob. Tapos outside din ay air, pero iba yung temperature. So almost uh, given na lahat ito, ano yung values ng temperatures, by the way? Negative 20 tapos 25, no? Okay, so this is T2 minus T1. Okay, so Q over A equal sign. So, T2 natin is yung final, 25. Tama? Minus yung temperature natin sa loob is negative. Okay, so this one is negative 20. And delta, hindi na natin i-convert ng absolute yung value, value sir, ha? kasi delta na siya. Okay, 1 over HI. Ano yung HI? Okay, 12 muna tayo sa loob. Okay, 1 over 12. Okay, what? meter squared kelvin plus ano yung x1 natin x1 is 3 mm tama ito 3 mm i ano ko lang sira convert ko na agad para hindi tayo mahirapan 1 over 1000 para ma-convert natin into meter tama 1000 mm is 1 meter ano corresponding value 1 watt meter kelvin plus ano yung x2 okay ito yung unknown X2. Ano yung K ng X2? 0 0.07. Hindi sir, ha? Sa gitna, sa gitna. 0 0.07. Okay. 0 0.07 watt meter Kelvin. And then plus 1 mm. Over 1,000 ko na lang sir, ha? Over 1,000. Tapos 16 watt meter Kelvin. Plus ano yung H ng outside? 1 over? 1 over 8. Unit analysis, sir. Kelvin. Ito actually, tataas, di ba? Magiging denominator. So, Kelvin here, kakancel. Meter squared. Masinan mo, sir. We have here meter. Makakancel itong millimeter. Tama? Meron tayong numerator dito. Sa part na to na meter. Maka mamumultiply siya dito. So, ibig sabihin, ito meter squared. Tama? Meter squared. Pansinan natin dito sa H value. Itong meter squared, Kelvin, actually, pagka tinaas mo yan, until here, until here, meter squared, Kelvin. Okay? Nagat, sir? 1, habaan ko, ha? Tapos, dito tayo, 1, again, and then, meron kang 12. Watt meter squared, Kelvin. Kasi na niya, sir, ha? Again, yung kanina sa algebra natin, 1 over 1 over uh, x, tama, is ito, x negative 1. Pagka tinaas mo pa, magiging positive x. Same as here. Ito, ang mangyayari, watt meter squared, magiging watt dito, tapos meter squared kelvin ang unit. So, pagka mag-unit analysis tayo dito, walang problema. This will cancel out. Oh, sorry. Ito, ang magiging unit dito is magiging meter squared, ah, sorry, nandito pala yung meter squared. Nandito na yung Kelvin. Denominator. Yung watt, nasa taas. Same for all units. Okay? For all parts. So, pagka nag-unit analysis tayo dito, we can simply cancel this out. Okay? Ang maritirang unit natin is watt per meter squared. Numerator will be all in watts. Okay? Tapos, meter squared, meter squared. Ganon din dito. Meter squared. Until here, meter squared. So, medyo, okay. Medyo messy lang, pero I hope maintindihan nyo yung unit analysis. So, ang, ang purpose ko is, naintindus ko kanina yung basic, which is the conduction. Ito is combination ng uh, composite walls plus coefficient, coefficient of heat transfer pagka merong liquids in both uh, sides. So, just take note dun sa relationship. So, ito sa kagandahan ng calculator na ito. Pansin ninyo. Um, 25 minus minus plus 20. Tama? Close. 
And then meron ka ditong 1 divided by 12 plus mo lang yan sir, walang problema dyan. And then fraction ka. Tapos sa prax, sa, dito sa numerator may 3 over 1,000 ka. Pwede mong gawing pang fraction yan. Pansinin mo. So, ibig sabihin 3 over 1,000 and then here, meron kang 1 sa denominator. 1. Forward plus tapos may unknown ka. X2. Okay. We keep it. 0 0.07 and then forward plus and then 1 divided by 16. Tama? By the way, meron ditong 1 over 1,000 ha, sa taas. Divided by 1,000. Para makonvert yung millimeter into meter. Okay? And then finally, plus 1, 1 over 8. And then dito, hindi mo na kailangan isip pa. Equal sign lang. Ah, okay. May mali tayo pala. 15. Okay, ha? Pansin mo, sir, ha? Itong kagandahan ng ano nito, ng calculator na to. May mali tayo kasi hindi nata na natin nasama yung, yung ating 15. 15 ba yung hit loss? 15. Okay. 15. Ship calculate. 195. Meter yan. So, therefore, X, X2 is 0.195 meter. That is uh, letter B.